Hi, humans. First look at this tiny card that Paula made me. It's adorable. And I'm not going to show you the ink kind because it's mine. Tiny fox. I got desk art now. Um, okay. Where are we? Well, we only have 745 frames, but I want to show you this here simonanulations. Wait, no. That. Go to the previous frame. All the previous frames. Okay. So this is a scan from um, Central Library here in San Francisco. And, well, I'll show you what it looks like. I can't show you like this with the uh, um with the water running but uh it's not done yet but anyways uh we will sit here and we will zoom in a little maybe not that much okay so this is a scan i took of a it's a collage it's from a bunch of different um aisles in the library most of them art books and so that's where i already was um let's do wireframes this is my app by the way if you want to do this so now I'm using the Bifrost system to simulate um, this sort of cooling water and I'm really excited about it because one of the ways that the, um, one of the things that the scans do is they give you these sort of strange artificial holes where there aren't any in the real world. Um, and I'm hoping to get enough water that like it pools here but then also is like sort of streaming down and out through this hole. Um, so anyway, so that's rendering, but um, I'm also reading this book, A Pattern Language, Towns, Building, and Construction, about like, just like human settlements. And I guess this pools and streams things on page 322 is pretty interesting because it's about water and I'm making a stream maybe anyway uh, we came from water our bodies are largely water and water plays a fundamental role in our psychology we need constant access to water all around us and we cannot have you can't have it without reference without reverence for water and all of its forms but everywhere in cities water is out of reach even in the temperate climates that are water rich, the natural resources of water are dried up, hidden, covered, and lost. Rainwater runs underground in sewers. Water reservoirs are covered and fenced off. Swimming pools are saturated with chlorine and fenced off, and ponds are so polluted that no one wants to go near them anymore. And especially in heavily populated areas, water is scarce. We cannot possibly have the daily access to it to which we and our children need unless all water and all of its forms is exposed preserved and nourished in an endless local texture of small pools ponds reservoirs and streams in every neighborhood and yes if you've been following me i did make uh, a note on hyperlink space like a month ago that was all about water forgive me the drought in california and its relationship to climate change is just, you know, very at the forefront of my mind holes. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm working on. I'll see you later.